Well, good day, model rail runners. With the arrival of scale trains, auto racks, and they have the operator series and the rivet counter series. And about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, I got the Atlas auto racks. So with this video, I'm going to go right into comparing the two of them. Side by side, head to head, see which one's better. And we'll just go from there so you guys can make your own decisions. All right, let's get these out of the box. Okay, first head to head. Getting these out of the box. Atlas, lift the cover. Comes in a little plastic case. Lift that cover. Take off the fold back to protect the film. Little spot for your fingers to grab a hold of, as you can see here and here. Voila. All done. Scale trains. Okay. Oh, you got to go in the end of this one. Pull out the sleeve. Some bearing cap covers. Everybody's got information. Oh, and this one's got tape on the end. Hold on. Got to get a knife. Okay, so once you find a knife, it's taped here and here. Then it's just kind of the same. Take off sleeve off. It sits halfway in there so you can just grab a hold of it. Plastic film. Off the side it goes. There we are. Both out of the box. Now, why scale trains would choose to tape the ends of them? Kind of beyond me. Um, is, it, is it gonna come apart in the box? I don't think so. All right. Okay, so we got the two out of the box. We got one from Atlas, one from Scale Trains. This is a rivet counter. And great detail overall. Uh, I'd have to say Scale Trains, with, they've actually got metal here where this is etched plastic. So this really does stand out uh, just on an initial look. The other thing I've noticed right away is the Scale Trains couplers compared to the ones on Atlas. They got the little part for the magnet. So you can uncouple them. Scale Trains has nothing under there. And I don't know, you guys can kind of see that, but it's not as bouncy as the other one is. So great detail, like I said. Nice crisp lettering on everything. Everything's legible. We'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this is just a look at the printing. Now, up first is the Atlas one, and this is legible with the magnification up, by level, separately applied handrails, and right in here, I want you to take a look at. So that's the Atlas one. We'll move the scale trains one up. Now, what I noticed right off the bat for scale trains is we still have all the same lettering. Everything's legible. These are separately applied by level. But this one has more braking detail or some kind of lever right here on the side, whereas the Atlas one doesn't. A little bit of a chain detail here, but it is molded plastic, so it doesn't swing freely. But again, the metal etched panels look very sharp. Now, underneath the car, a lot of detail. Now this part I will never figure out from any manufacturer why they want so much detail underneath the cars. But, prototypical I guess. Atlas on top, scale trains on the bottom, rivet counter. Just go right through. Pretty much everything is the same. So you can just have a good look at all the piping, air tanks, and right here I want to take note, both of them have it, but this piece here and this piece here, you'd have to remove to change the coupler if you want to put KDs on there, long shanks. Trucks are a little bit different, metal wheels, 
but all in all everything looks pretty good the only thing that's not hidden on this one is they do have three screw holes that's the atlas one and moving down the car just a little bit this is right in the middle you can see the air, air tanks a little more detail on the scale trains one just because it has a band right there this one does not big box so pretty much all the same pipings all in there and I look at the other end again all the piping this one has coupler uncoupler so the the little pull thing pull thingamajiggy to uncouple the cars in real life some brake hoses are on there that's good detail again like I don't like though is the fact you have to remove this part here or this part here to get to the screw to change down the coupler and I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to represent if that's supposed to be a pipe but it's on both of them so must be important okay so the overall roof details and you can see the Atlas one is on the top, that's the white one, the CP. Scale trains is on the bottom. And hopefully the camera picks it up a little bit. I can see it on the screen. But with the Atlas one, you can actually see rivets right there. Whereas no rivet detail on the scale trains. So that's the roof. Now yeah, one thing I can't really show you unless I put it on the tracks. But Scale Tains has rotating bearing caps. And they must fall off quite a bit because they always give you another package with four more in it. But being on an auto rack, that's just kind of a close up of the wheels. Do you really think you'd notice rotating bearing caps on an auto rack? Wheels are kind of, well, hidden. But just another feature. So scale trains, rotating bearing caps, Atlas, normal everyday wheel sets. Oh boy, decisions. Okay, and a look at the end of these cars. Again, we've got Atlas on the right, scale trains on the left. A lot of detail goes into the doors. These ones actually look like they have a crack right down them where it would fold open. Steps are a lot bigger on the Atlas one, where it's just a little grab iron here on this one. Again, coupler cut levers. This one sticks out a lot farther. You can see the side details. Both have separately applied grab irons. Little lips on top. Um, I would say Scale Trains has a lot more rivet look to it for the doors. But again, everything's legible with magnification now this is another comparison of the side view again just with the side panels scale trains being the front one atlas being the back and metal coverings on the side does it really make that big of a difference well, if we bring a light down and shine on it A lot more reflective on the scale trains one but again those are metal side panels okay so from the sides again you guys could just compare but I just want to go over the price points on this stuff now the Atlas one if you go to Yankee Dabbler it's $74.99. Now, if you're Canadian, you can go to OVR Trains and it's $89.99 Canadian. Scale Trains one, if you go to Yankee Dabbler, it's $74.99. Sounds familiar. The Atlas one is $74.99. So at Yankee Dabbler, you're paying the same price for either brand. 
In Canada, Rail City Hobbies carries Scale Trains products, and they sell for $98.99. $9 difference between the two of them. So if you're Canadian, the Atlas one's $89.99, Scale Trains is $98.99. Now, is it worth the $10 difference if you're Canadian? Personally, my personal thoughts. We'll just flip these around so you can see both sides of them. My personal thoughts. Well, scale trains is nice with the metal etched paneling. More reflective with light. It does look a lot better than the plastic. Couplers is a big thing for me. Atlas has the little magnetic decoupling piece at the bottom of it. Looks To me it looks like a hose. So, eh. Do you want to spend the extra 10 bucks for the Scale Trains one? Again, my personal notes on it, I'd probably go with the Atlas ones. And if couplers are a big thing for you, change them out to KD couplers. Doesn't matter which brand you're getting. Most people are going to change the ones on the Scale Trains ones anyway because they don't like their couplers and they want the more prototypical look anyway. So there you go guys, head to head. I know I didn't get into super details or anything like that, but this is more of a video just for people to compare the two of them side by side, make your own decision. But like I said, if you're an American, $74.99 from Yankee Dabbler. If you're a Canadian, $10 price difference. I would probably save the $10, go to OVR Trains, and pick up the Atlas ones myself. So that's it for me guys. Hope it was an informative video for you. I know there's a few videos out there for Scale Trains uh, auto racks that are just coming out. There has been a few on the Atlas auto racks when they first came out. And I said this is a head to head, so compare the two of them, make your own decision, buy the one that you want. or What's in stock, I guess. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.